Hello everyone, my name is Rosanna and we are talking about luxury crossbodies today. Grab a cup of tea or coffee or whatever your drink of choice is and sit back and just relax. If you are looking for a new crossbody around 15 to 2000 USD, you are in the right place. We're going to go through all the major brands today. You know, Bottega, Prada, YSL, Louis Vuitton, Dior, etc. And we're just going to see what the best crossbodies are. And these crossbodies we're going to be able to use daily. They're classics, good for travel and comfortable to wear. I think that is something that's super important on my list. I'm not a huge crossbody girl, but I'm going to go through all of them and show you my top picks and as well as the top one pick for each brand. So we're starting with Louis Vuitton. Very excited here. A classic that's been on my list forever is the Alma BB. I personally have been really, really liking the Damier Aben for the last little while. And this is just a classic one. Yes, it's increased in price over the years, blah, blah, blah. But it is still at a really good price point. It's about 1500 USD or 2200 Canadian. And it comes in that classic monogram as well. I personally like the Damier a little bit more. But what I really want to show you is the modern takes they've taken with the Speedy as well as the Alma. And they've added that modern canvas strap. And it's a complete love for me. It's still at a reasonable price point, about 2000 USD or 2500 Canadian for this Speedy in 20. Oh, it's a really roomy size. And trust me, I do have a Speedy in a 25 and I've been using it forever. It's just so roomy, classic and easy to wear. And that canvas strap makes it very modern. We do have another Louis Vuitton in Cod Bucci. Also, a surprisingly a very good price point, about 2000 USD. And it's so nice with all leather. It's completely all leather, really scratch resistant for this leather, very roomy, as well as I love that massive logo in the front. Very nice and low key. And it's something that not everybody has. I'm not a huge fan of picking all straight trend bags. So this is something that is quite nice. And I have to pop in two of these. They're a little bit higher of a price point, but I know there are a lot of people's favorites. This one is new. It's the Pochette Matisse in East West. So it's a little bit longer than the classic Pochette Matisse that everyone likes. And I do like this one better because of the chain strap. So the shoulder strap is a little bit shorter than the classic Pochette Matisse, as well as comes with that chain strap. Really, really nice. And the last Louis Vuitton we have here is called the Favorite. And again, it's full leather monogram leather with and it has that chain strap as well as the shoulder strap so i love that dual or triple use whatever you're going to use it for we are heading into Bottega, but before we go with that my favorite top one out of the louis vuitton ones was definitely the speedy 20 with that modern canvas strap so if you're going to choose one that would be my top pick Bottega veneta the first one we have is a small loop camera bag this has been a really classic over Bottega over many, many years. So yes, it's not the trendiest one, but it is roomy, comfortable to wear, good for travel, low key, and it comes with so many different colors, you know, the green, the pink, and all the classics. Another one is the small cassette camera bag. Again, good price point, 2000. And I love this one. I feel like this is a nice update from the classic uh, loop camera bag and just because the weave is a little bit bigger and of course comes in the beautiful different colors that you can choose from if you don't just want black and this cassette bag this one is not the padded version but is a flat but i do think this one is a really good price point um, the flat one i believe like the one i'm showing you here is a little bit of a lower price point so 2500 um no about 2300 us 3000 canadian and it's the flat one actually packs more than the padded one because it's flat and doesn't have those puffy quilts and it is still really nice you can use it as a clutch so many different colors to choose from really really nice if you want just one just to play they do have the mini bags they call it the candy cassette for one but it is absolutely tiny so it's not something super high on my list but 
beautiful for if you want to play with colors and they have a candy padded cassette which i think is even more useless but very cute um you can see it on the model here it is absolutely tiny so if i was to pick one bag from bottega veneta as the crossplay to pick it would be the cassette i think that is the best classic bag you have would have for that we are into gucci Gucci, Gucci. You know, you can't mess with a classic. I know some people don't want to look at Gucci anymore, and I completely understand that. Gucci was my first designer bag ever. However, I think Gucci does great things, and there's a reason why they're still flourishing, and you can't go wrong with classics. This one is a new one. It is the Gucci Madalese leather small bag, and I love that puffy quilt. They, It's very similar to all the other bags they do, but this one has that puffy quilt, and I think that gray color just gives it a nice elevation. And I love that it comes with a canvas strap as well as a leather strap, so just a different look. I am loving the canvas straps these days. The next one we have, classic, can't beat it. My mom has this one. It's a Gigi Marmont small shoulder bag. And what's great about Gucci is for their mini or small bags, it really is still a sizable bag that you can put things in it. Um, not like some brands, when they call it mini, it's absolutely useless. The Gucci mini ones are actually still um, usable. So such a good price point, 1500 USD for this. Um, quite a classic. And we have a very similar version, but it is different. It's the Marmot GG bag, and it's a mini, um, sitting at $1,500 for the price point, but it is not actually too mini. It's still about this big, so you can actually fit all your daily essentials for a crossbody here. And it's such a classic. There's a reason why everyone has this. It's, it is, if it works, you know, maybe don't fix it. We do have another Gucci. If you don't want the super classic Marmonts, there's a Horse Fit 1955. Um, still, again, really good price point, full leather, and it's quite nice. I actually really like the all black leather one, and they do have it with the monogram. Uh, again, same, really good price, same size, just a different colorway. Instead of all leather, they have that classic canvas. And another Gucci classic piece is a soho small leather disco bag everyone has this as well but it is so good everyone that i know who owns this takes it and like grabs and go it's like a grab and go bag so you won't regret getting a classic is what i'm saying another one is the philly a philly mini bag with web this one's actually really low in price point, like really good. It's 1,000 USD or 1,500 Canadian. And it says it's a mini bag, but you can see on the model here, it's still a decent size. Um, and you can st still fit all your classics, uh, all your, your essentials. The Fidia small shoulder bag, so a size bigger. It is, you can see that it's wider at the base and still really, really nice. And I had to pop in one last one here. This is above our price point. Um, it's a Gucci Horse Fit 1955 Jumbo Gigi mini bag, but I do love how they've elevated its horse fit. In one of my vlogs, I do try on this bag, but in the top handle version and the all black, and I find it absolutely gorgeous. I love that large monogram. It's still classic, but it's still very classic Gucci, right? So if I was to pick one bag out of all of this, okay, if I was to pick a modern one, I would pick the gray, the Madelise leather one, the puffy quilts I just showed you first, but very likely, honestly, I'm going to go with the Soho small leather disco bag. So classic and such a good price point, 1500 USD. Okay, we are into YSL. Let me know in your, the comments below if there's any crossbody that you're eyeing or any brand that you want me to dive into a little bit more. But uh, we are covering all bases today. For Saint Laurent, the first one, oh, the Lou camera bag in quilted leather. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's also another reason why it is a classic. A lot of people choose between this bag from YSL, the Lou bag, versus the Disco bag from Gucci so they're both very comparable in size and in price um, and then the next one we have which I absolutely love is the Nikki bag here from Saint Laurent and this one is the baby 
chain bag and again price point is really good about 2000 something um, USD and I love how this one can be a shoulder bag crossbody so multiple uses for this and the last one I have for YSL is the Lulu small chain bag in quilted wide leather this one absolutely gorgeous as well I've considered all three of these bags for my personal one and again, like I told you, I don't really actually wear crossbodies too often. If I was to choose one from YSL, 100% the Nikki. I was used to be like a Puffer or Lulu girl, but now I am 100% Nikki. I want one of those baby Nikki's. I think I want an all black one, but so gorge. Next brand we have on the list is Prada. We hear a lot about Prada these days, but there's not actually too many that I like from the new collections. I am actually going to go classic for you again, like always. So the first one we have is the Prada Duet Re Nylon Shoulder Bag, 1500 USD price point, 2000 Canadian. So good. Very, very cute. It is on nylon except for the leather trim, like on the handles and the shoulder strap. So this one can be um, handheld as well as for a crossbody. So it does have those removable straps. And it is more like a bucket bag, bucket bag kind of backpack looking, but I really do like it. And for super classic, we do have the re nylon in mini backpack. And actually, I've been lusting over this bag for years. This one, again, super good price point, and I love the chain. Um, so a little bit less like a crossbody. I know it's more like a backpack, but some people do kind of adjust the strap so you can wear it as a crossbody instead. And so pretty. Um, and we have two more for Prada. This one's a little bit different. The small padded re nylon shoulder bag, and it's about 2,500 USD. I'm sure you probably haven't seen this one before, but it is quite nice. It's a little bit of a padded, so it has a little bit of a puff. I like how the shoulders leather strap as is a little bit thicker. So for that, like more comfortability, um, and it's still not trendy at all, but it, but it has a little bit of that puff. So a little bit trendy, but not one of those like, you know, re-editions that I'm gonna show you next, but I do love that. So if you were to choose a re-edition, Tales in the Five Safiano leather bag, I know that, you know, people still like that re-edition, even though it's everywhere on the internet, I recommend having it in Safiano leather. I know everyone has it in the re nylon, but I personally think if you're going to choose this one, if you had to choose a re edition, choose the Safian leather. It looks so classic. It's a little bit of a newer model compared to the re edition, um, as well as this gold hardware. It definitely elevates it, and I do love using it without the canvas strap. I mean, I don't own this bag, but if I was, I would love using it without the canvas strap. So you definitely like mix up how you use it. We are on to Dior. We have two more brands left, but Dior is super exciting. You cannot miss Dior. We are looking at a couple of items and they are from actually the men's collection and don't just sweep over the men's collection, especially in Dior. I always do a little walkthrough in the men's. The first one is a Safari messenger bag. And come on, just look at that. 2000 USD, 2500 Canadian. Great price point for a beautiful roomy bag. Just look at it. It's beautiful with that tonal jacquard, beautiful metal zips. It is absolutely one of the best bags out there. Absolutely, with the best price point. It does come in the classic navy blue oblique. And I've noticed what's different with the men's Dior and the women's is the branding they use is a little bit different. For the metal logo, they used D-I-O-R, whereas for the women's logoing, I noticed they use more CD nowadays. Um, but I love the men's. I love how it spells out Dior. It's just, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Um, if you want to go a little bit more saddle, but still roomy and still good to use for daily, there's a mini saddle messenger bag. Again, this is menswear, um, about 2000 USD, price point 2100. Um, but I do like that there's little snaps on the bottom. It's just a little bit more trend driven, um, but still really roomy. There's another one that's almost like a speedy for the Louis Vuitton, but Dior version. The Dior Link got 26 bags, so I believe that's 26 centimeters in width. And it does have that like 
very fancy buckle that they've been using for a lot of their collections. I'm not actually a huge fan of this one, but it is something interesting. And it is a little bit slightly higher price point, about 2,500. But this one, absolutely gorgeous. This is the mini roller messenger bag. Can you believe that this is still menswear? Gosh, so good. About 1600 USD. Price point is amazing. And it is just so pretty. You can definitely do a shoulder moment, shoulder bag moment, or handheld moment with this. Can you just see it? So gorgeous. As well as a nice, nice crossbody with enough room. This is absolutely my favorite. Okay, so we have the women's bags now with a good price point. This is a 30 Montana box bag. And can you see that? It looks very similar to the men's one, but it has like the CD for the branding instead. I actually like this one less than the men's one, surprisingly. And the price point just jumped a little bit. So now it's about a 2200 USD. So it's a 2900 Canadian bag, but mm, I, I don't really like how it opens up like a vanity case. Like I've Maybe you've heard me talk about it in my Chanel videos, but vanity cases aren't absolutely my favorite, but there's that for like the women's version of this uh, crossbody bag. But what's new for Dior is this wonderful mini Dior book tote phone bag. I actually had a girlfriend that just bought this one. It's absolutely a good price point. It's 3,000 Canadian, so about 2,200 USD. So a good price point. Definitely something you can ask your boyfriend to buy you for Christmas. But you know, it's just like a good price point bag for a crossbody. And it's still like, yes, it's called a foam tote, so it's a little bit more longer and vertical, but you can still add like your card holder, keys, etc. And it's, I think it's really nice. It does come with the strap, just so that you're clear on that. And the strap is removable so you can still have that handheld moment and it does come in the Tule the jour embroidery pattern as well which absolutely love the same pricing so i love that um another last two diors um this one i just want to share with you if you wanted to go classic patent dior they did come out with a lady dior phone holder it's kind of interesting i do like the book tote version of it better but it does you know come with the card holder slots inside you can see that so they know people are gonna use it as like the daily bag too comes with the long chain for that crossbody as well as you can do that handheld moment of course everything is removable and the last one i wanted to show for dior also more of that classic route if you don't want to go for like you know the messenger bags is a dior carl zip pouch with chain this one is actually quite nice it's a little bit more of a clutch moment but it does come with that nice chain and the chain actually is really pretty it really gives me hermes vibes for this chain i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but I'm gonna say neutral um but it is nice and it does seem like a large enough size that it's roomy if i was to pick one item out of all of these bags the best one i'm i really want to pick the mini roller messenger bag but that would be my second choice but my first choice would definitely be the safari messenger bag in that tonal dark gray and light gray oblique pattern perfection at the best price point i gotta say i'm gonna do a quick scroll right here and i would say that bag and the speedy 20 with that modern canvas strap will be the two choices i will give you for the best crossbody to buy and they're both like a really good price point 1800 2000 canadian no, 2,500 Canadian, but really good price point for just an absolutely wonderful classic bag. And we're just gonna pop in just two last bags from Balenciaga. They don't make it on the top two list, but definitely classics if you're trying to look for Balenciaga. So there's a lot of things going on for Balenciaga, like the hourglass and the new, the Kalgoogle, I can't even say it. But I think the, the two classics I would recommend would be the Neo Classic Mini Handbag in black and white. Um, I do own this one, but the older version for the city bag, and I don't plan to buy the Neo because it's very similar, but the Neo is a little bit more structured than the old city, but I do actually find it super easy to use and I do like it and it's coming back in a small way. So it's nice. 
I do see people still use this. And the last one I want to share is a Ville XX small handbag in black and white. It, it's okay. It's not like a huge thing. I prefer the Alma BB over the Blanchiega, but some people, you know, like a change. So this one's quite nice, very logo heavy. And those were all the bags that I wanted to share with you today. I would love to know what your favorite bag is. Mine is clearly the Speedy 20 as well as the Dior, but if I was to pick one top one, I would pick the Safari Dior bag. And it's so surprising because it's not even on the women's collection, it's the men's collection. After looking literally for a few hours doing research for you guys, I my favorite crossbody is the men's. I'm surprising myself. I'm not even joking you. And it's just such a good price point. I can't pass it up. The Nikki bag is also quite nice from YSL. But obviously, I would love to have all of them, but there's no way I can get 50 crossbody bags. So I will have to narrow it down to that one from Dior. Let me know what your favorite crossbody is and comment below, like, and subscribe. And I will see you again in my next video.